it's another unboxing video. This one is one I've been waiting on for a long time. Um, I ordered these on May 1st and it is May 19th right now. Um, I've ordered from this vendor before, vendor, this nursery before. Um, and I had a good experience. Um, this is an orchid nursery based in Chicagoland called, um, I should just sit down. <laughs> It's a nursery based in Chicago land called um, Orchids by Hauserman. And I ordered a discount Phalaenopsis from them in, I would say, mid April. Um, their prices are really reasonable. Their shipping's a bit much, but um, for what, based on what I, the quality I saw from my last order and their reputation, I decided to go ahead and order two of my wish list plants. I will tell you. Um, I am not going to be ordering from them again during this pandemic um, because I had no idea when these would show up every time they arrived. Um, I never got a notification on if my order had shipped or not, but I noticed in my bank account that um, the money was taken out and then within like two days I could expect the order based on last time. So that's what happened again. They use FedEx, so it's a little bit pricey, but um, I was real, like I said, I was really impressed with their packing and everything else. So thought I'd get these two wish list orchids and uh, probably order it from them again in the future. Um, I just know that they're kind of that low capacity and they might not be updating their shipping information to customers like they normally would be. I don't know how swamped they are. So just something to keep in mind um, if you're looking to order some orchids for them from them. They do have an amazing selection and amazing prices though. I will say that. I'm just gonna open this guy. And I don't know about you guys, but the plant the pandemic. Pandemic plant buying has been insane. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this in another video already, but I never ordered a plant online before this. And now I've been ordering a ton. Hi, Kitty. Are you trying to help? There's baby birds in the window. Not in the window. In the walls of our house. And I think she hears them. This is not for you. This is not for you. She's honestly really good at plants. She's just nosy. But yeah, the pandemic plant buying, I've just been trying to find wish list plants um, that are a good deal. And I think that's the reason I've been making so much progress on my wish list this year is because of um, the pandemic and having just, I, I'm avoiding nurseries and a lot of the things I want, I have never seen around here. Right. Gosh, I hope you can see me on camera. No idea. So this is how intensely they pack it. There could be anything in there. Last time they used plastic like shavings and I was a little miffed about that because I'm not sure how <laughs> environmentally friendly that is. But looks like this time we can recycle some shavings. I am in quarantine chic, let me just say. Gosh, I'm really hoping I'm not cutting myself off on this camera. <laughs> Oh, 
Wow. Big plan. Here's the plastic stuff I was telling you about. It could be a pom pom. So how can you just recycle this? I'm gonna put it in the recycling. Maybe it's paper. It might be paper, honestly. I should give them so much thought. Okay. Oh. Wow. I don't know if this thing will make it on camera, honestly. It is giant. And there's roots everywhere. Oh my god. I'll tell you what it is. Oh. Oh. This plant is insane. Here's the top. This orchid is in spike, so there will be flowers coming out of this. Um, which is crazy to think about. This thing is giant. I mean, I've never seen it this big. I've got another insidium, but it's not this big. And this is the pseudobulb the flowers come from. And it's got two others, I don't know which have bloomed, but here's two more on the back. I don't know if you can see that. These are all roots, all aerial roots. Um, I don't know if you're familiar with Phalaenopsis, but their roots are much thicker than these. Um, this thing is insane. I don't even know where to start with it. I feel like it's gonna take over my life. <laughs> But this is an Oncidium Sherry Baby, which is, um, they are known for having a chocolate scent. So as soon as I heard about this plant, I had it on my wish list. It's been on my wish list, I think, for at least a year since I started researching orchids more and learning more about them. And honestly, Oncidiums are the easiest orchids i found to care for when it comes to epiphytic orchids. So here's this insane creature. I don't even know. I don't even know where I'm gonna start potting this thing up. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm a little like overwhelmed, but extremely happy. This orchid was like 30 bucks and it looks super healthy, just like my other Phalaenopsis did. So super happy, but overwhelmed by how much plant there is. Like, holy cow. And I will definitely share when she blooms because that'll be probably this fall. Doesn't look like any of the flowers have developed yet, but definitely has spikes. So I'm excited about that. I don't even know how to set this thing down because it's everywhere. The second plant. Or no, it's over here. Okay. We'll bring our crazy friend over here. She can hang out with us while we open our other friend. Probably don't need this bamboo steak. I'll probably unstake, take this steak out and this steak out. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. I have no idea what's going on on camera, by the way. Cat's on the floor playing with her. Whoa. So their packing is like probably the best I've ever seen. Cause like they make sure these plants are super protected. Like this, you can probably see already see what this is. are so much prettier in person than I imagined. 
nice plant. Sorry, I'm just getting all this like cheerleader stuff off of the plant. So this is Ludicia discolor. It's a pretty, probably the most common jewel orchid you can get. It's a terrestrial orchid. And I wanna say I got this for like 20 on there. I don't remember, but I just love this plant. Look how pretty the leaves are. It'll be my second terrestrial orchid. I'm really excited. Um, I did order a two more orchids, but they're from Etsy. Different shops, they are, um, Vanilla Panifolia and um, McCody's Lightning Orchid. So I'm really excited about those and I'll probably stop buying orchids for a little bit because I'm kind of, I kind of manage my wish list. I kind of manage my wish list based on where I think I can put them and what kinds of plants I want the most and what would work in our apartment. There's plenty of other plants I'd love, like a giant middle leaf fig, but that's not gonna happen here. We don't have the lighting. So those are those will be a someday wish list, but these guys I knew I could accommodate. So I'm so excited. I'm gonna grab my Phalaenopsis I got from them quick, just so I can show you, cause that one is pretty cool. So this is the Phalaenopsis I got from them in April. And funny enough, it's called Phalaenopsis April's Coming. And it had a, they had a deal where a bunch of these were six bucks because they were out of spike and they just had an excess and overstock. So that's why I ended up getting the, this one. Um, and then I got these two and they're all part of my orchid family now. So I'm pretty excited about all these guys. I think it's gonna be really fun. Um, more to come. I have a couple. So yeah, we have again, I'm gonna, this is the Phalaenopsis April's Coming. It's supposed to be a winter bloomer, not part of this order. So then we have the Jewel Orchid. And this Beast, which is the Oncidium Sherry Baby. I can't believe how big this pseudobulb is. It's as big as my hand. I don't know what I'm gonna do about all these roots either. This is crazy. Exciting. These are awesome. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. Um, I will be doing a